I'm a sudden guy. I like to get up quick. You know I mean, show you I'm good. You know I mean, at the time I got up, done the same thing, and just, I mean, I got flimsy. You know what I mean, um, and and only way uh, everything went off in the stadium. I couldn't hear nobody. Only way I got to the damn sideline was I saw yellow pants, the Green Bay, the Green Bay pants. So I'm like, shit, I go that way. So I just start walking off. The next thing I know, I collapsed. So I gotta ask. I mean, we've seen just this year. I mean, we've seen some crazy, catastrophic things on the field. We've seen two with the with the concussion. Him just dropped on the field, and right. everybody was like, "Oh shit!" Like we've seen it the week before. Right. So how often do you think that really happens to where the players really are going through it, but they just kind of want to get in the game and still be out there for their team and, and risk they? Yeah, I, I think I think it happens more often than uh, we think. Uh, I mean, now that I'm a spectator watching it from right. the outside. Um, it happens a lot. You know what I mean, um, at the time I had an injury, um, you know, back back when I was playing and whatnot. I had it week three of the season. Um, got nicked up, uh, got banged up, and uh, you know what I mean, at the time, it, I'm a sudden guy. I like to get up quick. You know what I mean, show you I'm good. You know what I mean, at the time I got up, done the same thing, and just, you know what I mean, I got flimsy. Wow. You know what I mean, um, and and only way that everything went off in the stadium. I couldn't hear nobody. Only way I got to the damn sideline was I saw yellow pants, the Green Bay, the Green Bay pants. So I'm like, shit, I go that way. So I just start walking off. The next thing I know, I collapsed. I didn't know what the hell happened. I, just, I was just in the locker room next minute. And um, it got to week nine of that same shit tour went through where they let him play. They thought it was another injury. Went week nine and uh, I, I got paralyzed for, I was paralyzed for three weeks. Lumped over. So let's touch on that. And uh, well, right before we get to that, how do you feel the the NFL does with the concussion protocol, as far as keeping players out, making sure they're good to go back in? Right, like, right, right. Test? How how would you grade them as far as how they? I, I think I think I think uh, they do they do their job as far as you know what I mean checking the players, uh, taking them to the blue tent, doing the evaluation. It's just to players it's to the extent where they know the game and they know how to get out the concussion protocol and know how to you know what I mean do the test. I mean, you do the test. I mean, they take you through the test in the off season. This is what comes on the concussion test. This is what does that. So the guys are not, you know I mean, especially if you're getting paid that much and they telling you uh, next week you may not get a check because of this and that, guys are going to check out and, you know I mean, and, and figure out how to get out the concussion protocol. And, and, that's, and that's just where the game's at. Now, um, what is your mind state when you see that you're facing paralysis? And you're, oh, you're, you're kind of in an unknown state of how long this might last. Yeah, um, once again, that, that's, a pro, that's a proactive thing. You know I mean, if you, leave, if you leave the National Football League um, uh, not being um, on top of your game as far as um, going to the doctors um, and, and they putting all of these, uh, these people and these doctors in front of your face, you got to take advantage of that because it's, it's not for no reason. You know what I mean, they give me this insurance to do this. I think guys don't, after the game, guys get so caught up in themselves and doing so many other things that they don't focus on the fine details that the, the National Football League is, is giving us for a, a playbook to do this, I do that. And um, yeah, I took, I took full advantage of it. I took probably two years of time out um, after I retired to, you know what I mean, gather myself to be, uh, you know what I mean, an everyday person. I mean, and that's, that's what guys, I, I think, that's what guys don't do. Stars, nigga.